Oh, I think I'm gonna be just short. No, 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 wait, wait, no. I can still do this. I can still do this. Guys, go, go, go. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, I... <sighs> mostly wrapped up Serene Shores. There's probably literally like one item left since it's 99% complete. We also did a little bit of housekeeping and a night mission. And of course, how could I forget? We beat the boss of the below grade discotheque. In this episode, it's basically going to be a little more cleanup. If you don't want to stick around, I understand that's fine. But I've got some people to talk to. I've got two Dandori challenges I want to fix, and I've got Serene Shores to finish. As a preemptive answer to what I imagine will be in the comments section of like, oh, you know, why don't you go to Hero's Hideaway? Why not do something new and exciting right now? And the temptation is there, believe me. I want to see Hero's Hideaway so bad. And that's exactly why I'm waiting. Because... By the time this goes up, I should be back from my vacation. I'll probably be considering a little more solidly doing the stream of the Piclopedia and the Treasure Catalog to catch up on all the items that I've missed. Um, which I hope you guys would join me for, <laughs> if it happens. Please keep an eye on my community tab. Probably the same day this episode goes out, I'm gonna verify whether or not that stream is on, and if so, when. It'll be the weekend after this comes out, if it does exist, but... Anyway, anyway. I want to have something really exciting to look forward to for when I do my first recording session when I come back from vacation. I think it's going to be very important for me to be motivated to come back and return to something new and exciting and fresh. So... I hope you guys can forgive me and can understand and respect that decision. Again, if you find that you don't really want to deal with me <laughs> cleaning up one treasure and probably talking to you in post-commentary over Serene Shores footage, or redoing the two Dandori challenges that I did not get gold in, then I understand if you skip this episode. That's perfectly okay, and for the rest of you guys who stay, Thank you. You guys are the real, <laughs> the real gamers between us. And I just realized before I even get started, wah, I need to train. <laughs> I'm not going to make the mistake again, if I can help it, of just letting Ochi's pup drive Bye. stay super high. I can definitely afford something with three. Big chomp, I can get big chomp level two. Smaller creatures like dwarf bulborbs don't stand a chance. Heal is something I've also been considering. Big Chomp level 3, hold on a second. Even a horde of Pikmin can't match the intensity and ferocity of this strike. Huh. You know, because Ochi tends to get hurt for me a lot, and I'm pretty happy with his bite strength right now, at least for the time being, I'm actually going to probably go with heal. Because... <laughs> I feel like I could have really used this in the engulfed castle. <laughs> um, one bone for Ochi. Thank you so much, Shepard, as always, for being so good with training. And now let's talk to people, including our dear old buddy Bernard. You're making some real good progress curing folks. You know what that means? Reward time! Yeah! Thanks, Bernard! Doing great. I like your pace. Keep it up! <laughs> Cure nine leaflings. Okay. So I guess that means there are going to be two new leaflings in Hero's Hideaway. That's my guess. Anybody else I need to talk to? Oh, there sure the hell are. Patch. Ah, he was one of the new rescues. Conopile. Conopile. I see. You're the one who saved me. 
Well, that means I still survived, so I won the battle between myself and this planet after all. I did get a little help from you, but it's not like that matters in a survival challenge where anything goes. Fair enough. <laughs> There's an ongoing battle happening between you and this planet. A long-haul fight can make it hard to stay focused. Let's simplify and settle things once and for all. Hmm, how about this? You win if you defeat more than a hundred creatures indigenous to this planet. What's the meaning of such a challenge? There is no meaning. Some challenges only have significance if they're meaningless. It's obvious that you possess great skill and are remarkably efficient. Ooh! Defeat a hundred creatures? Defeat three hundred creatures? Yo! That's not a lot, but please accept those. I suppose you could call it a small reward. Defeat a thousand creatures? <laughs> Is the next level? Oh, God. Well, uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna be visiting you in the <laughs> extremely distant future. <laughs> Meanwhile- uh. <laughs> What the hell was that? Is she just pacing around camp? Ma'am? No, 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 come back here! Come back here, I just wanna talk! <laughs> Uh, what happened to that yellow Pikmin? I can't get a- <laughs> I can't get a visual! Oh no! <laughs> I completely missed your voice. I think it was Kampana. I'm Chewy from Satella Travel. Excellent adventures for every customer. I'm terribly sorry for any inconvenience I've caused you. Now, I realize we only just met under unusual circumstances, but I must ask. Karapoko, do you know if this rescue thing is covered by insurance? <laughs> <laughs> that one goes out to all the adults playing this, like me. Ma'am? Uh, I'm afraid I'm just a rookie here, so uh, you're, you're gonna want to run that by Shepard, probably. Oh, I got a bit ahead of myself there. As someone who works in the field, you probably can't answer that. We'll just assume the cost depends on the specific circumstances for now. Could I trouble you to look into the policy later? We came here on my company's Uncharted Planet tour, and right now I need to ensure that our guests are safe. Since you have the skills, I bet you could track down our missing guests. I offer compensation and considerable gratitude. Alright, we're about halfway there, actually. So don't you worry about a thing, ma'am. My yellow Pikmin has re-manifested, and with his help, and the help of Ochi and all of my other little buddies, we will find everybody we need to. I guess with that, let's go ahead and finish up Serene Shores because I feel like a complete dingus for not getting the last thing. All right. I'm going to either cut or do a bit of a musical overlay until I get to the part where I successfully claim the final treasure I need. So, I'll see you guys all shortly. Oh. Well, I feel a little bit silly. This treasure was, like, right by camp. <laughs> oh, well. Such is life when you are doing a game blind. <gasps> Eggplant. Ah! What the hell do you mean there's even more treasure? <laughs> what do you mean? Ochi! What am I missing, boy? Give me a sign! Okay, so there's something around here. Ah, there it is. Yes! Finally! To the sound of one of my red Pikmin drowning. <laughs> this area has been 100 percented Oh, thank goodness. Oh! Oh! I guess the rest of this day is grinding day. So, on to the montage. What's up, Buttercups? Welcome to the Q&A section of this episode. Before I dive in, I wanted to share some fan art done by at real Arthur DR on Discord. Thank you so much, dude, and for giving me permission to share them. These bring me absolute worlds of joy, especially this one. Poor Yanni. Anyway, if you haven't, now is a perfect time to get up, grab something to eat or drink, 
and sit back and chill with me. I have eight questions to get through today, so let's get started, shall we? Markor asks, What has been your favorite and least favorite slash most disappointing aspect of Pikmin 4 so far? See, this is such a toughie, because I feel there's an overwhelming amount of stuff to love. Where and how do I even begin to narrow it down? I mean, perhaps the broadest yet most specific thing I enjoy is just how expansive Pikmin 4 is. From areas, to caves, to Pikmin types, to characters, you can tell just how much love was put into every aspect of it. It's amazing, both from a gameplay perspective to have so much diversity, and from a lore perspective, with the expansion of the Pikmin universe making it feel even more alive and vibrant. It's truly a special experience. Honestly, as for least favorites, my only big complaint so far is the overuse of Ice Pikmin. Not only have all three of the overworld areas I've completed recommended them, but I feel like they've been suggested for at least half of the caves I've done as well. I'm hopeful this tapers off in the later parts of the game now that I have all seven of the other daytime Pikmin types. Make no mistake, I like them, even if they're a little overpowered for my tastes. I just want to see more of my other friends, you know? Sam Demonic asks, If you could eat any dish Louis recommends from the Piclopedia, what meal would you genuinely want to eat? Not even joking, I went out of my way to reread all of Louis' Pikmin 2 Piclopedia entries in search for the one I wanted to try most. Uh, don't worry, I had plenty of downtime on the plane to do this. This was a way harder decision than I thought it would be, but I think I have to go with the Gatling Groink. Not only because it genuinely sounds like a delectable dish, I love stir-fry, I love chili sauce, I love sprouts and caramelized onions and rice, but there's also the revenge factor. Adds a little something extra, you know? Honestly, this ask is tempting me to make my next subscriber special a pass or smash with Louis' recipes. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that, because I took at least rough notes on all of the ones from Pikmin 2. Shubaka, which is a great name, by the way, asks, I was curious, were there any YouTubers that inspired you to do YouTube? Oh man. There are a lot of YouTubers I enjoy watching, but when it comes to inspiration, I can try to narrow it down. In terms of content, this boils down to two small YouTubers. One is Jessie Mew, who has several soothing niche Let's Plays on her channel, both for the vanilla game and challenge runs. The other is Freylaverse, whose funky creatures content never fails to put a nostalgic smile on my face. I'm grouping them here because neither are afraid to march to the gentle beats of their own drums in a sea of Let's Players who get a little too loud or rambunctious for me, personally. Another big inspiration, despite doing very different content than me, is Let's Game It Out. My first ever videos on this channel were tests I ran in Niche, a genetic survival game. And Josh running goofy experiments on his channel proved to me that it could be quite entertaining. If it weren't for him, I might not have had the guts to make a channel at all. So, credit where credit's due. Crunchy Kills asks, Opinion on Blue Pikmin. If good, why? If bad, why and how would you change them? Now, Blue Pikmin are fascinating to me, because I think they themselves are fine in terms of features. The problem is that the games across the series have been wildly inconsistent with how often they feel like the best choice for a task. Pikmin 1 is pretty abundant in water hazards, which lends them plenty of use. Pikmin 2 has perplexing pool, which is great, but there's not a ton of cave floors that have water, making their use feel more limited. Pikmin 3 lets you basically skip from getting their onion to the formidable oak in an in-game day or two. So unless you want to collect all fruits like me, this makes them feel extremely unimportant, especially with winged Pikmin around. So far, I think Pikmin 4 has them being the most useful they've been in eons for blossoming Arcadia, serene shores, lots of underwater treasures, and plenty of caves. Really, to me, it's all about placement. WG asks, How big is your Pikmin plush collection? Alas, I have a grand total of none. I absolutely want some, though. Especially of a Baldman, a yellow Pikmin, and or Louie. Please, I need these in my life. Look at this guy. <laughs> Just look at him. Lai asks, What do you like to do in your free time? 
make these videos. <laughs> I tease. I know what you mean. Outside of work and YouTube, I love to write. I have some works in progress I'd like to push towards publishing one day, many of which involve fantasy systems or sci-fi elements. Both have a ton of speculative biology, by the way. Researching for that in particular is a big pastime. Also, I love baking and cooking. <laughs> Yet another way I relate to Louis. Crow T. Robot asks, How long have you been playing Pikmin for? Well, I might be dating myself with this one. I've been playing since the GameCube releases of Pikmin's 1 and 2. I can't even handle the split of the captain's movement and the reticle in the Wii re-release of those games because I'm so used to the GameCube's merge system. So, basically, I'm a dinosaur. Ali Burkett asks, Which Pikmin game is your favorite? Okay, I like to rank favorites after I complete them, so for the sake of this answer, I'm not counting Pikmin 4, no matter how much I've been enjoying it. Of the games I've completed, I've easily replayed Pikmin 2 the most. I love the overworlds, I love the cave and the strategic variant Spelunking offers, I love the Piclopedia and Treasure Horde, I love Olimar, I love the President, and I fucking love Louie. I landed on this planet, and my buddy is just as confused as I was. Ah, <sighs> man. Despite Pikmin 2's clear lack of polish and some balancing issues, it has to be my answer. I'm speaking from the heart. And that just about wraps it up. For those of you who stayed, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed my Q&A. There's plenty of stuff to get to in this episode today, so it's back to gaming scale tree. See you there! You know what? <laughs> I have almost 30 ultra spicy sprays. And as much as I enjoyed running around and kind of absorbing Serene Shores for probably the last time until we do night missions here, I think, I think I'm done. You know, I'm done. And what a good time for me to be done. Take a look one last time at that beautiful sunset. We are going to skip out on the countdown because I'm... Part of me isn't ready to say goodbye, but all good things must come to an end. And with the sun setting on serene shores, a new light will soon shine upon Hero's hideaway. Morning will be so much brighter, and all returns here will be so much darker. Until those returns, I'd say now is as good a time as any to end the day. Farewell, serene shores. Thank you so much for the memories. Thank you for the Pikmin. Glad that we could get some new friends in our little party. And now, let's go home. I don't have even the foggiest clue <laughs> how long this episode is going to be. I'm probably going to fast forward that and just chat. Talk about some of the questions I've gotten in the comments or... You know, anything else fun that might have happened that's Pikmin related? Who knows? I guess I'll find out when I get there. <laughs> In the meantime... Okay, lesser mock bottom I was expecting, but foolish fruit. Do I dare ask you guys to leave eggplant emojis in my comment section? Question of the day is not actually a question. Find some way to put an eggplant emoji into your comments. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> Investigation complete, though. Which means we can talk to Dingo and we'll be able to get some more materials from him. This dog, Moss, comes up quite a lot in Captain Olimar's voyage log. I'm very intrigued. Perhaps we'll encounter her somewhere on this planet. Oh, I hope so. There's a lot that can't be captured in text alone. You read my mind. If I could get a tissue sample of an unknown space dog species, think of all the experiments I could run. Eh, experiments? What kind of experiments? <laughs> Yanni just does not answer. He... <laughs> Backed out of the conversation like that one Homer gif of him being absorbed by a leaf edge. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. 
<sighs> well, now. It feels like I'm going to be actually playing the game very shortly for the first time in this episode. Good lord. I spent most of that day just running around while I let my Pikmin farm sprays. And you know what? That's fine. Dingo, my man. My dude, what's up? Oh ho, you think you got this under control, is that it? <sighs> no one could pull a fast one on me. <laughs> Dingo, are you a sundere? <laughs> Asking for the comments section? You guys don't have to answer that. I want him to answer me. Dingo, tell me the truth. Under penalty of law, are you a sundere? I expect your answer in three to five business days. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. All right, Heroes Hideaway, I anticipated as much. I will get on that, my good sir. Anybody else I need to visit? Ah, yes. Francois, of course. I completed the Grow More Pikmin milestone. And he says the same thing. I get 30 more material. And enjoy the rewards of one of the missions that can repeat endlessly. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that you would give me so much. Man, I'm really racking up that material. Hang on. I think I could actually afford stuff from Russ again. <laughs> Let's make a little pit stop here before I dandori the hell out of those battles. 293, okay. I'm getting Ochi the Air Armor++. Plus Plus. I want him to be as beefed up as possible for night missions. He is gonna be such a heckin' chonker. It's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be fantastic. So, without further ado, let's get on with a Dandori challenge featuring Jin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna do the first one. Probably seems like a fairly obvious thing, but like, you know, I did do the other one pretty much, I don't think last episode, but the one before. I do have an idea on how I want to Dandori that better, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Let's do this! I notice the efforts you have been making. That is truly wonderful. Thank you, sir. Close your eyes, clear your mind. Now imagine the Dandori situations that you have already experienced. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Dan do this! Dandori Daycare. It's been a while since I've seen this map, but now that I've got an even buffer Ochi, I think this is gonna be basically cakewalk. Let's see. Just double checking the locations of things here. I'm pretty sure I could send Ochi, take care of this wall. Nice thing about these little bulb orbs is that they die pretty much immediately. Go on, fellas. Flower up. Grow big and strong. Ochi... Ochi is not rushing through this fast enough. Actually, okay, this is... This is already a nightmare. Come on, boy. Rush! Oh my god. <laughs> That's nuts. I think that one is only five Pikmin to carry. I guess we'll find out in a second. Come on, fellas. Yeah, go, 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 go. I think that's seven. No? Oh well. Like, this is a nice small map at least. One, two, three. One. Are you guys kidding me? Move! Ugh. Seriously, I need just one more here. For goodness sake. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is not going as well as I would have hoped. That's fine. I have faith that we can get at least a gold yet. 
One, two, three. With these two, I can at least grab up my friends. Come on, buddies. I'm pretty sure that this little spool up here takes five Pikmin. I've got 20 here. Oof. That'll make that a little bit easier. They can just do this in two trips, which is perfect. Silly cat sounds perfectly intentional. Come on, buddies. Come on, flower you guys up. Ah, you know what? Yeah! Now that's what I like to see. Pull that up, Ochi. You can start dragging this. Ooh, once this gets out. This takes longer than I thought it would. Oh no. Come on, buddies. Grow up big and strong. Don't leave Pikmin standing idle. I would never dream of it. Okay. Oh, wait. My Dandori Mastery. Oh, yeah. There's no way I'm not getting a gold. As long as I can get that back there, I can even platinum. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing. Is it? It is! Ha! Okay, fantastic. So despite the rocky beginning, I can absolutely platinum. Let's see what kind of high score I can get. Woohoo! <laughs> Feeling very good about this. Okay. My total Dandori points plus time bonus. Oh, that's good stuff. Woohoo! Thank you so much, Jin. I appreciate your assistance here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't, I don't need to redo this yet again. What was I doing? Let me just exit the Dandori challenge. All right, with that done, ice cross course. So I mentioned a little bit ago that I have an idea on how to make this Dandori challenge at least gold. And I kind of realize why I'm given the opportunity to make more ice Pikmin. It's because I need them to freeze the water and thus enable faster shortcuts. So I'm gonna try to employ that a little bit better than I did before. Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> Wish me luck, everybody. All right, so just like before, we've got some ice Pikmin down there. We've got blue Pikmin sprouts. We've got blue Pikmin that are fighting. Okay. Let's see about beating this guy up first, because honestly, there's a lot of blue Pikmin right over here. And that immediately it could help. Hmm. All right. Let's grab these treasures. And then let's grab the ice Pikmin. Because I think they'll be able to freeze this and make a better platform for them to walk across. Once they get out of there, anyway. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so much better. Onward, gentlemen! Let's not wake up this waddle puss quite yet. Oh man, I forgot about that nectar over there. It's okay, I'm gonna get to that pretty soon. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to ride, I want to ride. Get me back on Ochi's wild ride! Uh... Oh. Shoot. The Stop! Dandori issue! Please freeze the water! 
Okay, good, 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 good. I want you faster, everybody. Go, go, go. <laughs> Just aggressively air horn the hell out of these. Ochi, come on. Help me out here, buddy. Charge and send. Yeah. Yeah. Get that little guy. I need my ice pikmin to freeze this again. Because I was silly. Five pikmin, that's okay. Repeat Dandori for good practice. All right. Ochi, I think you can take care of that for now. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Need a couple of you to gather that waddle puss. And I need a couple of you to take care of those golden nuggets. Huh. All right. What's next? What's next? What's... N-X-E-T. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't get the reference, yes, you do. Hmm. Your Dandori goes well. Thank you. I appreciate you telling me that. Ten more Pikmin? Oh, man. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess not. Not yet. Go! Just go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that tire is so nasty. I need... Oh, I can- I can remove my ice pikmin from here. Okay, fabulous. No! The, the last gold nugget. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, no, 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 no. I've got somebody going up there. Bless them. Bless them. Bless that pikmin in particular. Ten. Good, good, good. Oh man. This is still not going as well as I want it to. Come on, fellows. Amazing, Dandori. So satisfying. Is it really? Because this is not going as fast as I want it to. Uh, come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We just need gold. We just need gold. Never give up, Dandori, until the end. Oh god, come on. Is there no- What do you mean? Oh, I think I'm gonna be just short. No, 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 wait, wait, no. I can still do this. I can still do this. Guys, go, go, go. Come on. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry if that peaked my mic. I felt my heart leave my body. Oh my god. Thank goodness. Ugh. Go to overtime. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'll check that out later. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm feeling very proud of myself, though. <laughs> I managed to get gold just in the nick of time. We will meditate together again. Don't you worry, friend. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, yeah. I think with that, I've basically cleaned up everything. With the exception of this one leafling. But I think I'm gonna save the... 
night expedition to cure him until later, because that will also be my first night expedition in Serene Shores. And it'll be nice to return to it after going on vacation. Oh, thanks again, everybody who decided to stick around. I really appreciate that you would just want to casually spend time with me as I did some <laughs> basically cleanup duty in game. Anyway, uh, double check my community tab to see if I'm going to be streaming the weekend after this comes out. If so, I hope to see you all there. And if not, then, well, I hope to see you in the next episode when we finally return and do Heroes Hideaway and probably a Serene Shores night mission first. I cannot wait to get started. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>